Hello, my wonderful students. How are you? Mrs. Krolchek, and we're ready for our story, okay? Before we start, we have our spelling words. Our spelling trick this week is the O sound with an O in it. So we have an OA as in soap. OA as in soap. So we would say two vowels go walking. The first one does the talking and the A follows along. And the next O sound is O-W, as in snow. So we have some words here. Snow, road, soaks. She soaks in the bathtub with bubbles. Bowl, maybe you had a bowl of cereal. And float. I like to float on an inner tube, on a lazy river. High frequency words. Once as in once upon a time, found, wild, took, mouth, O-U, ow. Okay, now we've had some three, have some three letter blends this week also. So I'll just go over those. S-P-L, splash. So we have a three letter blend, strong, spread, throat, shrubs, spring. All right, in our story. Oh, maybe we should go over our refrigerator copy. Here we go. That was my bookmark. It's also your checklist. Okay, unit four, week three. Our story is a trip to Washington, D.C. We just, here's our spelling words. O sound, O, spelled two different ways. Blow, boat, coat, loaf, pillow, road, row, like row, row, row your boat. Or maybe you are, your desk is in that row. Snow, soap, and yellow. Okay, high frequency words, we did those. Found mouth once took wild and our amazing words abandon harbor nation splinter statue sunken symbol tourist and this is a really fun story okay a trip to washington dc this is an expository text that it tells about real people places and events Next, you will read about Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States of America. And if we were in our classroom, we have a big map up front, and you would see where you, um, Washington, D.C. is. It's clear across the United States, over 3,000 miles to get there. And um, I haven't been there, but I have some kids that have, and they absolutely love it there. So... Um, we will be traveling around Washington, D.C., and you see some numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are places that we'll be going in this story. And the question of the week is, what treasures can we find in our country? And I'll bet these are some of the treasures that are really old in our country. So here is a little bus, and it says, Hello. And what do you think that bus is going to do? It's not a yellow bus, but it's a bus. Okay. And it says, hi, my name is Metro Mike, and I'm here to show you Washington, D.C. So here's Metro Mike. It's a bus. And it says Union Station on the top. Now our yellow buses say Morton School District, and they have lights up here, but this bus it's kind of like a tour bus, except it stays in the city. And this one says, number one, he's at Union Station. And he's waiting for us to get on because the bus is empty. Every year, people come to the city from all over. Do you know why? It is the capital of our country. And this is the Union Station. This would be a very busy place where people come and go when they're traveling. 
um, probably get a train to the Union Station. And of course you can get a bus to and from the Union Station. I see some people with some suitcases. So they're traveling um, from here, Union Station, to somewhere else. You see people, statues, statues that are people up here. And they must be very, very important people. I've Googled it before, and I would have to Google it again to see who they are. So that's something you could do, Google it to see who those people are on the Union Station in Washington, D.C. Come with me. Who do you think is talking? Mm, yep. Metro Mike. I'll show you this splendid city. Sometimes I have a busload of people, but now this coach is just for you. Oh, he used the word coach, not bus. Coach means the same thing as bus. It's a city bus. It's a tourist bus. Okay. So number one was Union Station. Here we are at number two. In Washington, D.C., the leaders of our country make laws. Laws are rules we follow. Just like our rules of our school and the rules of our classroom, rules in the hallway, just like our paws. Washington, D.C. has the leaders that, of our country that make laws. How do these people become our leaders? Well, we vote for them. When people vote, they pick who they will make the laws that we all follow. So adults vote for the people that are here. Metro Mike, and it says he's at the Capitol. So this is the capital of the United States of America. We have a capital in Washington, our state, and it's in Olympia. And it's a great place to drive by, and it's a great place to go into. But this one is clear across the United States, and I'm sure it's much, much bigger than our capital. There's a statue right there of a person on a horse. All these cool things up here. I don't think people get to go up here because this is a very protected building. But it is awesome. All these windows and it's round. This is called a dome. Dome. Okay, we're at number three. And it says National Archives. This is a squarish building. The roof is a little bit different. Inset here are, is a statue. I'm not sure what it's of. And along here, you see these little curly cues? Those are called gargoyles. And in Europe, gargoyles are on the edges of buildings to keep bad spirits away. I have a gargoyle in my classroom that came from Paris. Okay, our first stop is in on your right. That's the home of two documents. One is the Declaration of Independence. That says that Americans have the right to be free. Very, very important document. The other is the Constitution, and it's a plan for our government. Kind of the rules, kind of. Constitution of the United States of America. And check this out. George Washington. Washington, D.C. was named after George Washington, our first president. The president is the leader of our country. Many people call George Washington the father of our country. And if you remember in February, we talked about George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. So here's another building and Metro Mike says we're at the White House. This is number four stop, White House. So this is different from the Capitol. I'll slow down here to show you the White House. This is where the president lives and where he works now. When George Washington was president, he lived at the Capitol. But now the president lives at the White House and he also works in the White House. You hear him talk about oh, the presidential room or the blue room or those fancy rooms and that's usually where he's working. We don't get to see where they live, not very often, but I think you could Google it and see it. And of course, the American flag at the top. Okay, next we're at number five. Oh, isn't that pretty? And it says Potomac. This next road will take us by the Potomac River. This is a river. It's huge. Look up in the sky. 
That beautiful bird stands for America. It is strong and free. Isn't it huge and beautiful? And if we were in our classroom, we'd say, look up, what do you see? There's an eagle up there. Did you see that splash? That bird took a fish to put in its mouth. Once there weren't many of these birds in the wild, now there are many more. And if you should ever visit Alaska, they are everywhere. My sister lives in Alaska and she lives next to the ocean and there are lots and lots of eagles there. So that was spot, um, spot number five. Number six, whoa, look at that. Down that street, you'll see lots of flags. Here's all the flags, all the way around this building, all the way around. In Washington, D.C., you will see the stars and stripes flying in many places. This red, white, and blue flag also stands for America. So we have the eagle as a symbol and the flag is our symbol. And Metro Mike says goodbye. What? We are back at the start. So we are back at Union Station. I hope you found Washington, D.C. to be a great city. Come back again soon. Mrs. Muir has been there several times and she loves to share stories about Washington, D.C. and when she's been there. And there's a certain amount of, there's probably 50 flags around this building because um, of the 50 states. All right, Washington Monument, that's what this is. It's an obelisk, that's the shape of it. All right, and here we have our pictures. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which one is your favorite? And we're going to focus on this question. We're going to look back through the whole story, find the one page that you want to go see in Washington, D.C. One thing that you can see, and which one would you like to go see and why? And that's in your packet this week for your writing assessment. And so that very same question is on the page. You probably know what they look like. I'll show it to you. So, here's the checklist for your writing assessment. Look back at the story, think about it, or re-watch the video. Write about one thing you can see in Washington, D.C. Why would you want, and I'm going to say, why do you want to see it, and what would you see there? And here's your writing paper. I want three to five sentences. Remember to use capital letters, the end punctuation, complete sentences, finger spacing between words, and make sure you're talking about the capital and make sure it makes sense. Okay, have a great week. Don't forget this is a three slash four day weekend coming up. So packets will come to your house on Thursday, not Friday, and then back to school again on Tuesday. So next week we'll have the story. Should we take a peek? Let's see. Ah, oh, a southern ranch. How fun. Here's a page I wanted to show you about Washington, D.C. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Here is Abraham Lincoln, and I believe he's on the back of the penny. Um, this is called the this is a big building called the Lincoln Memorial. And he's up here in the doorway, and he looks like a huge statue, but from far away he looks small. So this is Abraham Lincoln, and he is also in Washington, D.C. All right. Can't wait to see you on Wednesday, Hope. Have a great week. Bye, first grade.